Centipede for the Game Boy Color, released in 1998 by Majesco and developed by the Code Monkeys. So for those who have never played Centipede or any of its 500 incarnations, you control a blaster and you have to kill the centipede, all the while clearing away mushroom trees, spiders and other critters looking to impede your progress. For all intents and purposes, your main goal is clearing away the segments of the centipede, upon which another will appear, this one quicker than before, and possibly more segmented as you progress onwards. Among your available options are four skill levels and the ability to play a one player or two player alternating game in which two people share the same Game Boy. Though if you have a game link and a second pair of game and unit on hand, you and a buddy can also partake into two player competitive and cooperative modes similar to what you would find on the old Atari 700 version which I recommend you check out by the way. The first notable thing about Centipede is that it's really slow, especially on the lower skill settings. For those who want a difficulty level more in line with the arcade original Centipede, I'd say go with the higher or expert skill settings which basically skips the earlier levels, about 20 levels up. But in general, the gameplay is somewhat still of a sluggishly paced nature, perhaps owing to hardware limitations or something of that ilk. I don't know, I'm having flashbacks of that classic arcades thing for the Genesis where there's a version of Centipede that played in Molasses. Although I'm not going to lay much fault here because it's on a handheld, it's somewhat underpowered, and I guess this could have been intentional as to reduce the possibility of blurring on an actual Game Boy screen, or maybe it just screwed up or something, I don't know. What I do know is that despite being on the sluggish side of things, Centipede plays and controls pretty good for the most part. Your blaster is a bit on the slippery side of things, but never to the point where it becomes uncontrollable. Gameplay is the same tried and tested gameplay that's featured in many other versions of the classic Centipede. There's nothing out of the ordinary to be found here. Suffice it to say, if you played Centipede anywhere else, you played it here. The only thing that you generally need to adapt to is the generally slower pace of the game. Again, that's only a minor thing. And if you're that put off by the sluggish nature of this particular version, then you're not going to be sticking with this particular version anyway, so... Centipede does a fairly good job of replicating the arcade visuals well enough. Everything is instantly recognizable. The mushroom trees, the spiders, the centipedes itself, the various critters. They all look pretty decent on the tiny Game Boy screen and at a rather decent pace, considering the overall slowness of the thing. Later re-releases of Centipede would add Super Game Boy compatibility, which basically means a special border or something, and playing this on a Game Boy Color or Game Boy Player will give Centipede a bit of an old color scheme in an attempt to mimic the color palette of the original arcade Centipede. It doesn't really work, but the effort's appreciated, I suppose. Sound-wise, Centipede sounds pretty irritating, even by Game Boy standards. There's an attempt to mimic the arcade original sounds, but it comes off rather poorly. Also of particular annoyance are the occasional jingles that play whenever you clear the current level. It's just... meh. Volume control is your friend, that's all I'll say, but then again, your mileage may vary. Centipede is an enjoyable yet challenging arcade shooter, easy to pick up, simple to understand, and yet difficult to conquer. In regards to this Game Boy conversion, however, it's a little less so, as the overall sluggish nature of the game makes it a little less of a challenge than other home conversions. Like I said before, you really need to play this on the higher difficulty settings in order to get any semblance of true challenge here, and even then, it never gets that truly intense. If you can get past this particular hurdle, however, then Centipede can be a good time had by all. It's not the best version of the game out there, but it is good enough for a quick round or two. 